Thanks for watching this video tutorial on the Audison AF Forza DSP amplifiers. The AF Forza family of amplifiers are compact, powerful, great sounding, and have advanced bit processing for OEM correction and system tuning all built in. This episode focuses on installing the BitDrive software tool and updating the firmware of your AF amplifier. The BitDrive software can be installed on PCs running Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating systems. Downloading the files. First, we need to download the files we need. There are two ways to get the files we need. For initial installations, it's best to use the AF Forza product page on the Audison website. That's at audison.com. Select DSP amplifiers, then scroll down to the model you are using. In this case, that's the AF-M 5.11 bit. Click on that product to select it. Scroll down and select Support by clicking on it. Here you can see the software and the firmware files. This is also where you open the manuals for the hardware model you're using and the BitDrive software, and this is where you can download the test tracks that you will need later on in the process. Please don't use test tracks for other Audison products. Download the proper tracks for this specific device. So click on the download icons to get the software and the firmware files onto your PC. Read this important note. If the amplifier you are updating has been configured previously and you want to retain those configuration settings, you must save them before installing the new firmware, because installing new firmware will erase those settings. We will show you how to do this. So click on the download icons to get the software and the firmware files onto your PC. Now, another way to get the files, and this is very useful when downloading the latest versions later on, is to go to your browser search bar and type Audison Software. The first hit is our Master Software and Firmware download page. Scroll down to Forza, and here again are the download files. Installing the BitDrive software. Open the Downloads folder of your PC. The files are there, compressed in a zip format. Double click on the BitDrive folder. Then click on the folder within that folder and you'll see the contents. Select Extract All at the top. Make sure Show Extracted Files When Complete is selected. Accept the default location for opening the new files by clicking on Extract. Then open the new unzipped folder. This is a good time to read the release notes so you know what is new with the latest version of the software. Now double click on the BitDrive Windows Installer Package. If this Windows warning appears, select More Info and then select Run Anyway. Select Next. Accept the license agreement. Select Next. Select Next to accept the suggested location for the software to be installed. Select Next to start the installation. When the installation is complete, click on Close. Now there will be a BitDrive icon on the desktop. Updating the AF Forza firmware. Please make sure that the AF Forza device remains powered securely for the few minutes that this process requires. When the AF Forza bit amplifier is installed in a vehicle, this often means connecting the vehicle battery to a good supply of 12 volts DC. Make sure the USB cables are inserted securely and the PC is connected to AC power. Otherwise, if power is lost or the USB connection is lost, the product may malfunction. Unlike previous Audison products, the upgrade switch on the side of the unit is not required for most firmware updates. It's only needed for situations where the firmware has been damaged during an installation and a rescue mode is needed. This three position switch also sets the ART on off modes and can be left in either the ART on or ART off positions for normal firmware updating. 
If you need to save the settings before installing the new firmware, open the BitDrive software, select the device here, and do so now. Click on the Save As icon. Name the file. Use a file name you will remember, such as the vehicle make and model. Click to save. Now the configuration file is saved to your PC for later use. Another change from previous Audison products is that the PC software is not used to install the firmware. Instead, there is an installation utility included in the firmware download package. Navigate back to your downloads folder. Double click on the zip file AF update. Then click on the folder within that folder and you'll see the contents. Select Extract All at the top. Make sure that Show Extracted Files When Complete is selected and accept the default location for opening the new files by clicking on Extract. Open the folder. You may want to read the release notes at this time to see what changes have been made to the latest firmware. Now, double click on the application labeled AF Update. If this Windows warning appears, select More Info and then select Run Anyway. Select Update. This process actually took about 90 seconds, but we have accelerated this segment of the video. When it's done, if the switch was moved to the upgrade position, now set it to either ART On or ART Off as required by your installation. Select Close. Now, open your BitDrive software, select the device here, wait for the software to open, and confirm that the new firmware version number is displayed in the upper right corner. Now, you can load any saved configuration files by clicking on the Open icon and selecting your saved configuration file in your PC. Then, click on the Finalize icon to write the configuration file to non-volatile memory and make certain it will be retained later. Now you're ready to configure your AF Forza amplifier, and we'll cover this in the next episode. Thanks for watching!